every day I'm waddling. Hey there, boys and girls. Mr. Jefferson here to help you out with when you're feeling sad. Hi, penguins. Today, we are going to talk again about feeling happy and feeling sad. So before we talked about what it looks like to feel happy and what it looks like to feel sad, today, what we're gonna talk about is what can you do when you feel sad? So to start off, I'm gonna come in close because we are going to read this story. It's called, When I Feel Sad. Let's see what this character does when they feel sad. Sometimes I feel sad. I feel sad when someone won't let me play. Or when I really want to tell about something and nobody listens. When someone else is sad, I feel sad too. I feel sad when I want to be with somebody, but he's not there. If something bad happens, I feel sad. When I can't have something I really, really want, or when I lose something special, I feel sad. When someone is angry with me, I feel sad. And I feel sad when I get hurt. Sad is a cloudy, tired feeling. Nothing seems fun when I feel sad. I don't like feeling sad. I want sadness to go away. But everyone feels sad sometimes. When I feel sad, there are ways to feel better. I can tell someone I'm sad. That's okay, they say, and sit close to me. It feels good to be close to someone when I'm sad. It's all right to show I'm sad. It's all right to cry. After a while, I'm done crying, but I might still want to talk about what made me sad. Pretty soon, I'll start to feel better. I want to go to the park and swing on swings. I want to make something and play with my friends. The sad feeling goes away and I feel good again. When I feel sad, I know I won't stay sad. Mr. Jefferson, when have you felt sad? Uh, boys and girls, one time Mr. Jefferson was feeling sad. He actually was getting his morning coffee. You know, Mr. Jefferson needs his coffee every day for school. Well, one time he got his coffee and walked into the music room and he spilled his coffee all over the carpet. and. That made me really, really sad, boys and girls, because Mr. Jefferson needs that good energy so he can teach you guys all about music and make you, make you guys very happy. And Mr. Jefferson was feeling very, very sad that day. So even though he was feeling sad, he did a couple things that helped her to get over being sad and to move on and be happy. Today we will learn strategies to try when you're feeling sad. Every day I'm waddling. Alrighty, so now let's talk about some things that we can do when we are feeling sad. So one of the things that they talked about in the story is that if you're feeling sad, it's okay to cry. Sometimes you just have to let it out and cry. Sometimes when you're crying, it might feel good to find your adult and give them a big old hug. or you can find a stuffed animal that you really love and give your stuffed animal a big hug while you cry. Or if you have a pet at home, you might want to sit with your pet and cuddle with your pet during that time. So those are some things you can do when you're crying and you're feeling sad 
to make you feel a little bit warmer inside. Another thing that you can do when you're feeling sad is you can do some of the activities that I'm going to show you right now. And anytime you're feeling sad, you can come back to this video and you can do this or you can do it on your own. So the activities that I'm using are from this book, Breathe Like a Bear. And there are a bunch of activities in this book that'll help you to feel a little happier or if you want, they might help you feel a little bit more calm and relaxed. But the activities we're gonna do today are gonna make you feel happy. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is called one, two, three, clap. So what you're going to do is you're going to start in a sitting position or you can stand up, whatever you are most comfortable doing. I'm going to stay seated. So first, now just listen to my directions and follow what I do. Okay, awesome. Open your arms out really wide, so wide, stretch them, stretch. Now we're gonna count to three, and at the end, we're gonna clap. Count, one, two, three, and clap your hands one time. Rub your hands together to make some energy. You rub them really fast. Put your hands on your belly. Take a long breath in, and out. Open up your arms really wide again, stretch them really wide, and count. One, two, three, clap. Rub your hands together faster this time. Make some energy. Put your hands over your heart. Take a long breath in, and out. Boys and girls, another strategy to help you when you're feeling sad is to do a little bit of dancing. Now, not just any, you know, just like really hard dancing, some dancing that can really express yourself. So one of the things that we used in school this year were the scarves. Do you remember the scarves and the ribbons? Well, unfortunately, those are still at the school and you guys may not have them at your house. So you do have plenty of socks. Mr. Jefferson is gonna use his Black Panther socks to show you a little bit of scarf dancing that you can do to make yourself feel better when you're feeling sad. So the next one we're going to do is called bunny breath. Okay. So we're going to take some bunny breaths to give us some energy and to make us feel happy. So you're going to sit up tall and you're going to hold your body still. Now, in order to do a bunny breath, you got to be a bunny. So I'm going to have my bunny paws ready and we're going to take sniffs in through our nose like a bunny. And then we're going to let it all the way out. Okay, all right, take a little quick bunny breath in through your nose and out. Let's do it again. And let the air all the way out. Now put one hand on your belly and see if you can feel your muscles working while you're doing your bunny breath. One more time. Oh, I don't know about you, but now I think I'm a little hungry for some carrots. So that is taking a bunny breath. So anytime you're feeling sad, that's a type of breath that you can do to help you calm yourself down and feel happy again. Our last activity is going to be called wake up your face. 
So this is a really exciting one because we can do all kinds of different motions with just our face, okay? So the first thing is we are going to open your eyes wide, open them really wide, as wide as you can, and we're gonna blink them three times. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Now you're gonna wiggle your eyebrows up and down. I know, silly, huh? Wiggle your nose like a bunny. Open your mouth really wide and wiggle your jaw back and forth. I know, so silly. Now you're gonna stick your tongue out as far as it'll go. You can even make noises when you do that. Uh, now, can you make a fishy face? Awesome, and now you're gonna wriggle your whole head around. Wiggle it all around. Now, I want you to hold your body still. Still as a statue. Take a long breath in. And out. Awesome job. So now those are three activities that you can do if you're feeling a little sad. They're called one, two, three, clap, funny breath, and wake up your face. Which one was your favorite? Yeah, I really like the waking up your face. I think it's really fun to make all those funny, silly faces and it makes me really happy inside. So another example of what you can do when you're feeling sad is you can draw a picture. You can use any paper you want and any writing utensil you want, markers, crayons, pencils, and you can draw what's making you feel sad. Or if you don't want to draw what's making you feel sad, you can draw a way that you might feel happy again. Hey there, boys and girls. You learned about a couple of strategies to help yourself calm down when you're feeling sad or to make yourself feel happy again. One of Mr. Jefferson's favorite strate strategies to use is to listen to some music just to make you feel better, like this music. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Already, I'm feeling better. Ready, boys and girls. With the air, I got on the care, baby, by the way. You know why? Huh, because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a room. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because okay. I'm happy. Clap. Yeah. All right. So now it's your turn. Pick one of the things that we went over and try it at home with, you can either try it with an adult or you can try it by yourself. Remember when you're feeling sad, you can stop, think, and pick one of these strategies to feel better. Practice things that make you feel happy. So that way, the next time you're sad, you'll already know what to do. Have fun.